Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Friday, September 9th, 2011, taking a look at the markets. This is the uh, uh, S&P 500, uh, the spiders, um, currently down 1.53%, uh, uh, holding here. This is a weekly chart, by the way, holding here at the four-week moving average. You can see that uh, this uh, blue line, which is uh, the 10-week moving average, is now uh, crossed uh, beneath all these other key moving averages. Uh, the black line here is the 40-week moving average. The green uh, dotted line is the 20-week moving average. So uh, this is a very bearish sign. It's actually called a black cross. And uh, uh, the 10-week is moving lower, as are all the uh, key moving averages here. And uh, you can see that uh, we did hit a bottom here uh, several weeks ago. Uh, and have rallied up off of that, but uh, being turned away uh, as uh, we got near the 10-week moving average. So uh, stocks are, are in a downtrend and uh, are continuing to be in a downtrend, and uh, any rallies have been swiftly met with, uh, with some uh, selling. Now it's important to note that when the general market uh, is in a downtrend that uh, the majority of stocks will follow that. So um, the uh, odds of you picking a stock and it going higher and defying the market are against you during these downtrends. So uh, caution is is advised and uh, raising cash, staying on the sidelines, being very prudent with any buys you might make uh, is, is the call uh, during these times. And of course patience is always uh, key uh, when trading. And looking now at a daily chart of the uh, S&P 500, we can see that we've uh, been waffling back and forth, uh, running up and then pulling back, running up and then pulling back and uh, not gaining much headway as the market kind of grinds uh, slowly higher off this bottom here uh, but met with lots of resistance and uh, volume has not been uh, heavy at all uh, so um, below average volume just kind of grinding away here and looking here uh, at the uh, small caps uh, this is the Russell 2000 uh, iShares uh, and uh, you can see the same story um, uh, the 10 week moving average has crossed below the uh, 40 and the 20 week moving averages and uh, stocks, uh, uh, small cap stocks here in a downtrend as well trying to uh, make some headway up off a bottom uh, made about five weeks ago. And looking now at the uh, financials uh, which have been uh, in a bear market, uh, we're down 30 uh, percent off of the highs uh, that the uh, XLF, the financial ETF, made back here uh, at the beginning of the year. So that's a, a bear market and you can see that we're well below this uh, blue line, the 10-week moving average, and uh, back down near the lows that we made uh, here several weeks ago. And uh, uh, you can see this sort of uh, rounding uh, pattern here and then breaking through all the previous lows made last year. So uh, banks of course weak and the financial sector weak and leading the market lower. So just recapping, lots of volatility uh, uh, in, in stocks, in the general market, and in the financials, of course. Um, uh, stocks in a uh, downtrend. Uh, some of the indexes have gone into bear market territory. Um, it's best to uh, uh, wait this out. Um, you know, avoid uh, uh, really committing to this market to the long side. If you're a short seller, uh, there's a lot of opportunities here, but the markets are very volatile and it's a very fast game, so caution is advised. And on a brighter side, the uh, gold and silver markets uh, have decoupled from the general market and are offering some amazing opportunities as gold stocks um, are now playing catch up to the metals. And uh, in um, uh, my next video, you'll see that. So thanks for watching, everybody.